So I would like to show you how I got from this shader that you can see in the background here. So if I remove all of this and we just press play, you can see this fractal shader, which is uh, quite cool. That's uh, a shader I wrote uh, long ago uh, like this. The shader code is here in the WebAssembly Music Studio, so you can write your shaders and they can kind of follow the music. So as you see here also, it reacts to the notes. So that's it, but uh, I also uh, created a new shader for this uh, new uh, music that I made, uh, which is like this. So. also see that reacts to the notes but I just want to show you how I got from uh, from this uh, shader here to uh, to this one this other one and um, as you can see there's an image URL here which is on airweave.net so what I actually do here is to, to go into this uh, site on Mintface and you can see there's a URL to the image here we can just copy that and we can paste it into the browser and it looks like this but this is a PNG containing all the source code uh, that you see here so if we just add that URL to the to this uh, web assembly music app uh, we'll get in here and we'll get the source code for, for this particular one. and uh, uh, so uh, how did I get to uh, this thing here because uh, in order to get there, I actually used uh, chat GPT. So I was pasting my original code from this uh, fractal MIDI visualizer. And I was pasting it in here. And as you can see, I kind of uh, got an explanation from chat GPT what it did, which is interesting. And and that was cool i confirmed this is what i want but now i would like something different than this mandelbrot Bro fractal and so it gave me an initial suggestion like this and we can just see what that looks like so let's just paste it in actually it wasn't very much it was just a single color and so i had to talk a bit more with it so so I just said, well, this is the same color all over. Can you actually make it look like sea waves? Maybe that was a bit too much to ask, but okay. Let's see what it got then. And we'll try that. And all right. It gave me some waves, so that was quite cool. And then I kind of said, that, can you also fix it so that the velocities of the music has more impact on the waves and uh, well uh, there were several attempts here uh, I think the first one here was not so successful let's just see only one color again as you can also see that uh, I did comment and now okay we have to correct it so let's try that Okay, so we got a wave again, but now it was no reaction to the notes. So, so I had to kind of discuss quite a bit. So, uh, and I also give it some hints. Uh, and uh, in the end, uh, after a long discussion, and you can see it says, "Yeah, you're right. I have to give it a lot of things." And it also corrects me. I thought that clamp was not GLSL, but of course it's it is uh, and uh, let's just move to the end here so to the final results after a lot of things and and just see how that was so let's go and just paste it in and and then you can see we got the results that uh, we have now so actually this whole evolving of this shader this transform from this fractal shader here to this one was entirely made during a chat gpt discussion 
and I also shared a link to this discussion in the video description so please have a look and thanks for watching this